Hello once again dudes, my name is and I want another JavaScript tutorial. <coughs> In this tutorial we're going to be creating something a little bit different. But basically we won't be needing um the script tag. Um, so I'm just gonna, why was there another body there? But I actually will need another body cause I won't be using this one where we uh, keep our script. So what I want to do is to add a header no, that's not important. What I actually really want to add is h, which is a link here off, and then uh, h rough, and I want to do the same here, and then I'll explain it to you. Now, if you've watched my HTML tutorials, which I told you to do, then you will un already understand what this is, and I don't have to tell you anything about what it is. Now, what I want to show you is how if you click on an arrow. Then, if it is an arrow that goes back, then you can go that way. Or if arrows that goes forward, you can go forward. So what we'll basically need to do first of all, I want to make the arrows a little bit pretty. So I'm saying font uh, color send used to uh, orange, and the size equals to seven. All right. So that was one of the, and we're going to do the same with uh, the arrow over here. All right. So in between here, that's the link that's going to show up. So first of all, I'm going to create a link. Sorry about that. So the first one is going to be back. Uh, I'm just going to make it like that, and the other one is going to be forward, like that. All right. Uh, and maybe we should actually go ahead and. Uh, uh, make a paragraph with a um actually I'm just going to make a break in between yeah that's probably more reasonable right so here comes the actual JavaScript stuff so what is JavaScript is that in our link we'll need to type in a piece of JavaScript for it to work properly so type in JavaScript this means all right we're going to be using a JavaScript commando or well that's just how the syntax for this is history and this means we're going to be looking at the history of the browser back so this is actually very simple you can use this uh, you know in other places um, than this but this is a very nice example of it you could also use it um, I don't know in pictures we'll see later but basically what this does it's that it's telling that we're using JavaScript to look at the history of the browser and go back when we click here. And we're going to do basically the same thing here. JavaScript history that forward. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I, I messed that up. Alright. So this should be very functional now that we go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and uh, run it. And let's see what we get. So basically we only use two JavaScript commandos, which is pretty awesome. So you can see we have two arrows. Uh, of course none of them do anything. So let's go ahead and copy this link and uh, go to YouTube, my channel. Yadi yadi yadi, alright, and let's go back. Uh, actually, let's go to Google, alright. Let's, alright, now I have, we've gone to Google, let's go to arrows. And uh, let's go to YouTube. All right, so we're now there. So if we click back, we'll go to Google, and if we click forward, we'll go to YouTube. All because we use two JavaScript commands to add functionality to our website. So basically, um, that's one way you can use JavaScript. So basically, um, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.